welcome to HD Toy Theater. Today we're looking at the Bandai SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Perfect Cell. Stands about 7 inches tall, highly poseable, beautifully sculpted, some awesome paint apps and accessories. So let's dive right in and see what this figure is all about. Accessories include extra hands and hand swapping is very easy. Grab your figure. And we've got them right here. You take off the existing hand. And then pick one. Let's grab this one here. Pop this on. There you go. You also get extra face attachments with different expressions. This one with a kind of smirk and that angry open mouth face. To face swap, what I like to do first is take the head off the figure. And then take off the existing face plate. It's much easier compared to other figures in the series. Just pull down the face and you see the uh, peg holes there. Let's go with this one. Put these two pegs in those two holes there. And then pop this back onto the figure. It's that easy. Here's a cross arm attachment with the arms crossed. They can swap onto the figure. To put on the cross arm attachment here, you want to take off the existing arms off the body to expose those pegs, like so. It's not a very easy thing to do. Those arms are really in there nice and tight. So be very careful. But once you get them exposed, you want to just match things up. So I found it very difficult putting this cross arm attachment on the body. It's best to just take off the shoulder pieces and the head so you avoid any risk of breaking it, then putting on the attachments. So once you get this on, it'll go like so. You can just reattach these parts right here. So once you get all the parts back on, it'll look something like this. You'll notice there's a little gap in here. You can kind of see just a tiny bit of gapping. You can kind of correct that by just getting the arms in the right place by pushing them back towards the back of the body. But there's going to be a little gapping issue there, but it's hardly noticeable if you're looking at the figure in views like this. The final set of accessories is for the Kamehameha diorama. And basically what you're going to do is take these two pieces connected to this base here. Just like that. Take this clear part arm. Connect the fatter peg into the base. And then you want to just rotate this little peg like so. Now the uh, the beam here has a lot of weight to it. But there's a little hole right here. Connect it. It's a little tricky. This thing, this little. Okay, likes to move around a lot. Alright, there we go. So there you go. So maybe let's do it like this. Okay, so this is ready to go. Finally, prep your perfect cell in the right pose with the right hand attachments. Slide the Kamehameha diorama into place. And there you go. Taking a closer look at the figure now, he is impressive, especially in the sculpting. Let's first take a look at the textures. That is all sculpted in and painted in. So that's pretty cool. You can really feel it. Then he has a combination of flat and 
It's a semi-gloss black here for all his black parts. Not too shiny. And then you got some nice texturing there in the purple area. Some shade in it integrated with all the colors pretty much. Except the black it looks like. Everything else has some bit of shading to give a professional kind of finish. Awesome head sculpt. Some people complain about the eyes being a little too big. I'm actually okay with it. Good proportions. He's lean and has long limbs. Spin around. Some very cool looking wings. Very organic looking. So all in all, this turned out very well in its sculpting and paint apps. For articulation, he has a ball jointed head at the top of the head. Lower neck is ball jointed. So you can tilt, rotate pretty darn well. For the shoulders, these caps here are connected at the top of the arm here. You have a nice ball hinge going on here, so you can swing out 360. You can really bring the arms forward, back, however you like. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, ball jointed wrists, upper body is ball jointed. There's another ball joint right here. Right there, right above the abs, and then there's another one at the waist. You have a ball hinge here. And you can pull it down for your high angle kicks. Not really easy to do because of this, the way this part of the leg is designed. A little thigh swivel going on. Double jointed knees. Ball jointed feet. Actually moves pretty well, even with the design of this part of his ankle area to articulation spinning around the wings your own little ball hinges it looks like so you can swing them up and down rotate them a little bit so that's cool and they're not too loose so they'll stay pretty much where you want them to want to swing them out and actually stay in place so that's very very nice the big complaint about this figure is the scale he is undersized compared to the other figures in the line especially piccolo who is supposed to be shorter than him final thoughts on this figure despite it not being to scale with the other figures in the line it's a great figure nonetheless beautifully sculpted paint apps are awesome Get nice texturing in the skin. Accessory count is perfect. And if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, I think you'll be satisfied enough to pick this up. It's about 45 to 50 bucks available on Amazon, eBay, uh, BigBadToyStore.com. It's a US exclusive and a Thomas C. Webb exclusive in Japan. So it, it does have a limited run. So I suggest picking this up uh, as soon as you can and add them to your collection. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hit like, dislike, and or comment. Check out my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out hdtoytheater.com. And we'll see you next time.